power system operation and control in that in computer control of power system today we are going to discuss about the phasor measurement unit in this video we are going to see about what is phasor measurement unit and working of phasor measurement unit followed by the advantages and disadvantages and applications of phasor measurement unit this is a complete structure of uh, phasor measurement unit in power system in all sections phasor measurement units are present now we'll see the definition a phasor measurement unit is a high speed device used in power system to measure magnitude and phase angle of electrical phasor quantity such as voltage or current in power grid using a common time source for synchronization the phasor measurement units can also use to measure the frequency in the power grid the time synchronization is usually provided by gps global positioning system or ieee 1588 precision time protocol so we call it as ptp which allows synchronized real time measurement of multiple remote points on the grid this ieee 1588 precision time protocol is a standard for synchronizing clock on a network with sub microsecond accuracy it distributes time and frequency information over packet switched ethernet network phasor measurement units are capable of uh, capturing samples from a waveform in quick succession and reconstructing the phasor quantity made up of a magnitude and a phase angle measurement it will take number of samples nearly 120 samples per second and the resulting measurement is known as synchro phasor these time synchronized measurements are important because if the grid supply and demand are not perfectly matched frequency imbalances can cause stress on the grid which is potentially cause for power outages phasor measurement units offer a dynamic view of the power system allowing for accurate monitoring of grid stability detection of oscillations voltage instability and faults unlike traditional scanner system which may update every few seconds this phasor measurement units provide data many times per second typically 30 to 120 samples per second enabling wide area monitoring and fast decision making so this is a complete block diagram of a phasor measurement unit power system then you'll be having a measurement unit ct and pt to measure the current and the voltage and you'll be having a signal acquisition adc then there is an algorithm for phasor computation and for that uh, we need a time synchronization through the gps receiver then the output is given to the phasor data concentrator so now we'll see the working of this phasor measurement unit the phasor measurement unit measures ac voltage and current from the power system using instrument transformers such as the ct and pt and this analog signals represents the system electrical waveform the analog waveforms are converted into digital signal using high speed adc and this digitization happens at rates high enough to capture waveform details accurately each phasor measurement unit is equipped with a gps receiver that provides precise timing accurate to within microsecond and this allows all uh, phasor measurement units across a wide area to take measurement at exactly the same instant which is essential for calculating synchronized phasor the digitized signals are processed using algorithms like uh, discrete fourier transform uh, kalman filter method matrix pencil method least square method which we use in the state estimation to extract phasor values like magnitude and phase angle of voltage and current relative to the synchronized time reference the computed phasors along with the frequency rate of change of frequency and time stamped data are sent to the phasor data concentrator or the energy control center for further analysis visualization and decision making so in this phasor data concentrator all the outputs of pmo is connected and here we are analyzing this using the matlab and other uh, simulation software used in power system and which is connected to the scada system 
to monitor and control and the results are recorded in the master computer unit and the data is streamed to other applications. Now we will see some advantages of phasor measurement unit. First one, high accuracy and time synchronization. It provides precise time stamped measurement using GPS enabling synchronized data from different grid locations. Second one, wide area monitoring which offers a real time system wide view of the power grid helping to detect disturbance early. Third one, fast data sampling. It measures system parameters in 30 to 120 times per second supporting rapid fault detection and response. Fourth one, enhanced grid stability. It improves situational awareness and helps operators to maintain voltage and frequency stability. Fifth one, support for smart grid. It enables dynamic control, state estimation and integration of renewable energy sources. Include protection and control. It facilitates better coordination and faster isolation of faults. Now we will see some disadvantages of phasor measurement unit. First one is high cost. Phasor measurement unit and associated infrastructure, for example, GPS, communication storage, they are expensive to install and maintain. So, the overall cost of the phasor measurement unit is high. Communication dependency, here it requires a reliable high speed communication network. Delays and losses can impact the performance. Third one, data overload. It generates large volume of data that requires effective management storage and analysis tools. <clears throat> Fourth one, complexity. Integration with existing system and data interpretation can be technically challenging here. Fifth one, cyber security risk. So, the connected nature of the phasor measurement units can expose system to potential cyber attacks if not properly secured. So, we need to provide proper cyber security to the system. Now, we will see some applications of phasor measurement unit. First one, wide area situational awareness. Real time visibility of the grid conditions across the regions are possible in phasor measurement unit. Then state estimation to enhance accuracy of system state estimation models, fault detection and location. It identifies and locates the fault quickly for faster restoration. Fourth one, stability monitoring. It monitors system oscillations and voltage frequency stability. Load shedding and restoration. It supports decision making in emergency control actions. Integration of renewables. It helps to manage variability and improving forecasting. Post disturbance analysis. It assists in investigating system events and blackouts. So, these are some applications of phasor measurement unit. So, in phasor measurement unit, by continuously providing time aligned measurement, it allows operators to see real time dynamics of the system, helping the operators to detect instabilities and to manage loads and react to disturbances more effectively.